Awaken from this pale slumber, my child. I sense feeble-souled men approaching our lair. Rise, my child. Sharpen your claws and instinct. Let the fire inside your chest spark into a great conflagration. The enemy is at our doorstep. Yes, more sacrifices. Remember the terms of our pact. Should any harm befall me, then you shall suffer as well. Be warned, the demonic powers that I have granted you are not without limits. The corporal shell you inhabit can be damaged. I will guard you, but what if this body fails? Bring me before crimson chalices, and as I absorb the blood contained in them, you will be rejuvenated. Okay. Weaklings are already inside our lair. They are being teleported in. Do not let yourself be caught off guard. Carry me to shelter away from those pests. Then dispose of them. Hide the heart. Protect the heart. Kill intruders. Unleash the tormenting fires of hell. Sear blood and drizzle from bones. Dispose of solitary fools with single spurts of flame from afar. If these souls gather in herds for safety, show them the error of their ways by conjuring a greater fireball and be mindful of where you direct it. Some of them may be foolish enough to challenge you head-on in melee combat. As they approach, disperse your flames to end them. My power is spent. Do not forget that your body can only store hellfire, not produce it. As long as you hold me, I'll be able to reignite your flames. However, it will be much wiser to look for offerings prepared by our servants. These flame-infused chalices will recharge your powers. My power grows. Enemies have deployed primitive missile weapons and magical tricks. Use your supernatural agility to thwart their efforts. Can't reach. Can't harm the heart. You can even jump in midair to reach new places and confound your foes. It will take these weaklings more time to find us in elevated places. We can also toss our enemies off the rooftops, but we may suffer the same fate as well. Gravity hurts. Let us show them what true magic looks like. Hunt down their mages and gather their essence. We need at least three shards of the same kind to bring forth our spells. Your corporal form can only hold a finite amount of essence, but any essence above three will be consumed to greatly enhance the effect of our spells. Yes. This is it. Now we can show them powers that their tiny minds cannot fathom. Protect your form in a powerful reflective shield and let them feel the bite of their own projectiles. Channel the otherworldly frost through me in order to freeze enemies that wish to strike at me. Finally, fuel your body with the power of a thousand hells. Shrug any harm guided towards you and unleash a barrage of unlimited fire. Crush, maim, burn. It is beyond me how creatures with such short lifespans manage to adapt so rapidly. As their knights, archers, and mages fail, they will turn to powers both holy and dark. Frail necromancers will avoid you and seek out fresh corpses to raise as undead servants. Their clergy will most likely summon a flock of holy avengers that will seek us out. They might even be so foolish to bring angelic beings into this world. They must have weaknesses. I will find it. 
However, no matter what they throw at us, we shall have some surprise.